Ultimately, the world is being guided towards the New Jerusalem. Scene 52, for example, depicts the salvation of the seven righteous men who reject false gospel. The corpses of the seven bearded and wizened are seen lying peacefully in two beds, while above them two angels carry their souls. In a sort of bunched up sheet, and with an effortless lift, for their souls have no weight, the angels bring them inside the wreath of clouds that forms a portal to eternal bliss. So this is interesting, you know, it's um, a series of tapestry that uh, barely survived and uh, Bard College professors talking about it here. Um, I think most of the ideas and depictions of Satan I have are from John Milton's Paradise Lost, which uh, Milton composed while he was blind, which is pretty epic, as in the literal sense of epic poetry, like Milton's Paradise Lost is in the tradition of uh, Ovid, and uh, more notably, of course, like, you know, the Iliad, the Odyssey, uh, the Aeneid by Virgil. The Aeneid is sort of like a sequel to the Iliad, like Terminator 2, better special effects better love story with a broken heart. Maybe not a better love story. But anyways, um, yeah, so William Blake did a bunch of watercolors of Satan um, based on John Milton's poetry. John Milton's epic poem, Paradise Lost, there's a bunch of watercolors and uh, I give it to my friend who's a uh, tree arborist. Um, and now I wish I kind of had it, but I was like, you know, I think I have this overly romanticized notion that this working class soul would appreciate some hundred dollar book from Powell's about uh, William Blake doing uh, Satan's watercolors. But yeah, this is a fascinating article, very nice, beautiful description of the Apocalypse Tapestry by Jean Bondol, Bondou, who knows. But yeah, this is why the Wall Street is great, you know, for the, uh, the non-plug articles. Good stuff.